mucomycosis and COVID-19 has been a discussion topic in recent days. It is often termed the black fungus and is of the order mucorrhizae. It's found in the environment in soil, organic material, and damp areas around construction sites. In some countries, there's a higher environmental burden, especially in locations such as India. Uh, the ways to contract the spores of this fungus is through inhalation, which is the most common, swallowing, or through the skin when there is uh, battle circumstances or uh, natural disasters. And it grows well at body temperature and acidic environments such as dead or dying tissue or when people have uncontrolled diabetes. We must remember that following inhalation, a lot of fungi spores are inhaled, but the immune system gets rid of the, these uh, spores. And the important thing to remember is that if the immune system is not working properly, then you have a higher chance of getting these different fungal infections. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, it was more common in India, that's mucomycosis, within per 100,000, 100, it was 14 in India and about 0.06 in Australia. There have been global outbreaks, especially through contaminated products, hospital, linen, medications, packaged foods, et cetera. And in a study done looking at the cases between 2000 and 2017, diabetes came as an important uh, underlying risk factor that was identified in about 40% of these patients. So it's very important, immune deficiency and diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes especially. So it can manifest in the lungs, the nose, the sinuses, which are the most common side, the eyes, the brain, and the skin, in that order. And that those are important aspects to remember because the patient can present with headache, facial pain, sinus congestion, pain in the eyes, loss of vision, swelling of the cheeks and eyes, and black crust around the nose. I've shown you some of the CT and scans here. I'm not shown you specific images of patients just uh, because some may not like to see those specific images, but it can cause quite a lot of local tissue devastation and it can extend into the brain and cause further damage. It is important with regards to management to have increased awareness because if you are not aware of this condition, you would not be suspecting it. And you would not be diagnosed it early so that treatment can be started early. You have to have the appropriate test to diagnose it early. You have to control diabetes and corticosteroids to be used wise, wisely and not big doses for prolonged periods of time, with, which can increase the risk of this condition developing. So early diagnosis and intervention is extremely important. You would ensure good blood pressure control, antifungal drug treatment is necessary, IV am amphotericin, the drug name, and there's a big shortage of this drug at the moment because in India, uh, because a number of patients have developed this condition in, in those that have COVID, and urgent removal of the dead tissue may be needed in several instances uh, in this condition. The outcome is poor, especially if it is diagnosed late and the access to treatment is limited because it can cause permanent damage, eye damage, brain damage, et cetera. And around 50% uh, may have, may have, there may be a mortality of about 50% in this patient. So it's very important to diagnose and treat it appropriately. Now let us look at the condition mucomycosis associated with COVID-19 because that is the reason people have been speaking about this so often in the last few days. It's most of the case I've seen in India, greater than 7,200 cases with 219 deaths have been reported so far. 94% had diabetes. So that is a big, big risk factor. And you know, the amount of the patients, amount the incidence of diabetes in India and prevalence of diabetes is very high. And that is an important condition to be looked at in the South Asian context. Poorly controlled diabetes in 67%. Diabetes and obesity, causes most predispose to more severe COVID-19, and they are more likely to receive corticosteroid because of that when they get into hospital. Corticosteroids and diabetes increase the risk of mucomycosis and other fungal infection. 
In addition, SARS-CoV-2 can damage the RV tissue and blood vessels and increase the susceptibility to fungal infections. So all these factors can add together and that could be driving the condition in places such as India. So what are the things that have come together? More exposure to the fungus in the environment such as India, high rates of diabetes that are poorly controlled, damage to the tissue and blood vessels by the SARS-CoV-2 virus and prolonged treatment with corticosteroids at high doses would all be predisposing to this condition and there has been a big number of cases. So in summary, it is a rare, mucomycosis is rare and serious fungal infection. It affects the lungs, the nose, the sinuses, eyes, brain and uh, eyes, brain and skin, skin and it uh, the people with diabetes and immunodeficiency are more predisposed to get in this condition and these patients should be watched carefully. It can cause headache, facial pain, sinus congestion, pain in the eyes, loss of vision, etc. And antifungal treatment, amphotericin, is the treatment that is given and surgical removal of the infected tissue may be needed in several instances. Thank you very much. This is an important condition for us to remember and take care of. Thank you.